What is the philosophy of physics in modern times? Because I know what it was in the day. Because in the day. What's the day? Antiquity or the Renaissance? No, Newton. Newton. Yeah, Post Galileo. Uh, okay. Newtonian world. Theory. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, back then. Scientific revolution. Yes. Back you got then, it. Uh, philosophers were physicists. I mean, they That's were right. one and the same. That's right. And in fact, the Newton's greatest work has the word philosophy. The word physics isn't even, isn't even in the title. That's right. The Principia doesn't even have equations uh, I, I, in the first oh, part. Okay. It, it's yeah. it, uh, that the title is. Well, in Latin, but the mathematical principles of natural Rational. philosophy. Okay, that's right. Natural philosophy. Natural fits philosophy. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Natural philosophy was right. physics. It's the deep thinking about how nature works. Okay. Yeah. So we got that, but into the 20th century, you get quantum physics, where you can't deduce from an armchair, and you have <laughs> right. expanding universe. Right. Who thought that up? Right. Right. And so all and the confirmation of all these things the that were mathematically postulated and then proven to exactly. be the actual case. So what yeah. I've noticed yeah, yeah. was uh -huh. that there was a sort of a separation of the turf. Yeah. And the philosopher couldn't really contribute to physics unless they were actually a physicist. You could still think philosophically, but you needed to be in the lab. You couldn't just sit back and observe and think hmm. deep thoughts. Well, Einstein was never in a lab. Right, but he was a <laughs> physicist, not a philosopher.